Hey guys, how's it going? So this is a big skeletal monster I've been working on using bits and pieces from, you know, all the multiple uh, skeletons and animal skeletons you'll see around shops and Halloween, you know, chopping them up and I've got all sorts here, you know. Um, so there's a bit of a selection there. I was too late to enter in the competition for, with the guild, uh, you know, DM Scotty and uh, Black Magic Craft and those guys. I can't remember the name, but they had a competition anyway. Um, that people do different crafts using different things each month I think it is and they have some like fantastic stuff it's actually classy to check it out um, but this is just some guy I was working on and it's quite obviously unnatural um, so I'll maybe talk through it a wee bit anyway these skulls here were all from a little uh, bracelet that was a euro and I've done a fair bit to them you know like so I give them eyes and kind of added a bit more texture to them a bit more interesting than just Normal skulls. Now, obviously, scale wise, they're way too big for a uh, twenty-eight millimeter. And then you got rib cage, more texture, hot glue, putting it all together. I have kind of pinned them together as well, a little bit, and uh, just for extra strength. And all these were uh, bits from a, a bird, um, a skeletal bird or crow. You'll see multiple people actually on YouTube doing videos on uh, what they've done with this bird and uh, rat and all these different guys. So that's just. I don't know, some kind of decoration weirdness on the back. And then his uh, leg arms, um, This is these aren't actually glued yet, but I actually, I'm very happy how they turn out kind of like creepy. So they're obviously hands um, from another skeleton then again, but they're like creepy, crawly kind of, uh, <laughs> I don't know, hands for feet. So it's quite odd. And then his stance is strange altogether. So I don't know exactly how he would fight uh, i'm not really thinking that far yet and exactly what's going to go down here i'd absolutely love if i had 28 millimeter scale skeleton arms just tiny ones for one for here and one for here more for comedic effect because it, it'd just be strange and um, maybe putting her skull here that could be i don't know i have another one here scale wise eh, that looks actually quite silly I don't like that. Anyway, it's a work in progress. So it's just a lot of fun to mess around with it. It's like the materials are so cheap and popping together. And once I get it sprayed and get some kind of paint on it, I think actually it'll look awesome. So for the base, I was going for something like this. So that's just pen drawn into this uh, kind of with a little bit of pressure to put a bit of relief and um, uh, put the detail on the base. So he'll be on a large base. So he's just quite big, you know what I mean? So that's him versus these... Um, or is this Heroscape? This isn't Heroscape. This is, um, if anybody can remember the name of this game, I'm blanking at the moment, but these two bugbears I just recently painted up. Um, not crazy, but I had them st sitting there for probably years again, not being worked on. But that's him, scale against them. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun to pick up these uh, these crafting uh, materials around, especially cheaper again after Halloween, you'll find... You know, you'll see people doing videos about this and there's some actually great stuff out there. You should check it out between spiders, uh, skeletons, a lot of people doing skeletons and they're really great for like, I know this could be maybe a bone golem or just uh, any sort of magical skeleton creature. But that's him, guys. Cheers.